Hello, I'm Harriet Wolf, President of the International Psychoanalytical Association. On behalf of the IPA Board and my fellow officers, Adriana Prangler, Vice President, and Henk Jan Dalowick, Treasurer, I want to wish all IPA members, analysts in training, and their loved ones a happy new year. This message will also be viewed by members of the public who are interested in psychoanalysis. I want to share with them, too, what I can about our engagement with one another within the IPA and with them outside of it. We're an inter enthusiastic professional group with much to offer the broader world. During 2021, the world was affected by an array of severe environmental, political, economic, and social issues, compounded by the challenges and uncertainty of a global pandemic. The psychological pressures of this perfect storm of stressors point to the vital importance of psychoanalysis. It is both a method of treatment and a way of thinking about human reactions to uncertainty, loss, and trauma. Psychoanalysis promotes improved consciousness, understanding, and resolution of interpersonal and societal conflicts. Adriana and I have been in office since July 2021. We have a strategic vision that features attention to the activities of IPA members in their offices, their communities, and in the world. Together with our much appreciated and highly dedicated staff, we're focusing on effective communication across languages and cultures, responsible financial management, strong psychoanalytic practice and education, and the vitality and unity of our membership organization. Some say that psychoanalysis is at a crossroads. This reflects the fact that the profession is at a point where crucial decisions must be made that will have far-reaching consequences. We are committed to engaging members and analysts in training in those important decisions through feedback surveys, written input, and dialogue in a variety of settings. We have initiated what we call the President's Meeting Process. It provides society presidents with opportunities to gather in small interregional groups where they can share with each other the issues that are important to them locally and offer advice and support to one another, as well as interact with the IPA board. Our goal is to develop improved two-way communication between the IPA and its membership. Each region of the IPA, Europe, Latin America, North America, and the developing fourth Asia-Pacific region, has different current and urgent issues, as well as different languages and cultures. As a collective international community, we also have important things in common. We are all committed to psychoanalysis as a treatment, as a body of theory, and as a useful way of thinking about social issues. The threat of COVID-19 is still a pressing issue for much of the world's population, including our members. We're therefore continuing to adapt our ways of working and meeting together. Despite its hardships, the pandemic has enabled us to develop new skills in the way we communicate with each other, both as an international association and as individual analysts. We've mastered the use of video conferencing and online events to continue our annual calendar of scientific meetings, conferences, and IPA committee work. Dependency on technology has brought the topic of remote psychoanalytic training into the foreground. There are differing perspectives about whether the existing policies for remote training should be changed, and we want to ensure that all perspectives are taken into account. Over the coming months, 
the IPA board will discuss this topic extensively and will design a timetable for gathering feedback and providing opportunities for local, regional, and interregional conversations. We must all take the time necessary to think through the practice and training issues involved before considering any policy or procedural changes. In the past year, we had to meet virtually for the IPA's 52nd Congress. This was a different experience than previous Congresses, but the very positive feedback we received shows just how appreciative attendees were to maintain some normality in the form of nourishing professional interchange during that extraordinary year. We're now well underway with preparing for two important events in 2023, both of which we hope to be able to host in person. In January 2023, we will explore notions of diversity and difference and their counterparts, uniformity and sameness, at the IPA Asia Pacific Conference in New Delhi, India. In July 2023, we will come together in Cartagena, Colombia, for the IPA's 53rd Congress. Its theme is Mind in the Line of Fire. While we hope to be able to meet in person for both events, we are using what we learned from our unexpected move to an online Congress last July to ensure there is a contingency plan should the COVID-19 pandemic prohibit us from meeting in person. For the Congress in Cartagena, we're exploring a hybrid model, which would allow an online presence in addition to an in-person meeting, and thereby extend opportunities for participants who cannot travel. We'll be sharing more information about both events throughout 2022. On behalf of the IPA, I would like to wish all of our members, analysts in training, and their loved ones, as well as the friends of the IPA, a very happy and healthy year. I look forward to working with our members and analysts in training during the coming year, and I hope to meet with as many of you as possible at our next Congress, if not sooner. Happy New Year.